So I was today years old when I found something quite useful in Fusion. Many of you probably already know this, in which case you can call me uh, cotton-headed ninny muggins. But I would bet that some of you don't know this little tip that just would have been so great the last three years of my life. Okay, say we have some text here, and let's just make a transform. And we're going to scale this text up, all right? So let's just say at frame 24, this is where it's going to be. And then at frame zero, we're going to just bring her on down into nowhere town, okay? So this comes up like this. And if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I certainly don't want this to just come to a stop instantly like this. We want it to kind of slow down before it stops, all right? This is called easing your keyframes. And a way that you do that is you open up the spline panel right here. That'll bring up a little graph of your animation. We'll just make this a little bigger. You can click this little button to zoom to fit. Make sure you can see the whole graph. And what you do is you select whatever keyframes you want to adjust and you can grab this handle and move it around and kind of adjust this graph so that it's a nice smooth transition into this flat keyframe right here. So as we play this back, it slows down before it stops, right? Which is great. A little shortcut, if you select any of these keyframes and you hit F on the keyboard, it flattens out that little handle. Super useful. But here's the part that I didn't know, and I'm embarrassed to even tell I'm embarrassed to even tell you this. I don't know why I talk like that, but if you grab this handle and you want to make it longer, uh, it's impossible to keep it exactly flat. And so you can kind of do your best and you can try, try to keep it flat and work it out and that works okay. But it's not an exact science and it's really easy to accidentally kind of bring this too far up or down and you end up jacking up your keyframes. Well, let's flatten this out, but this time we're gonna hit T on the keyboard, T for truck or Tyrannosaurus Rex. And that brings up this little ease in and ease out menu. And if I select this keyframe, I can grab this ease in number and I can push that and look what happens. Look at that. Look at that beauty. So that pushes this out in a totally flat way. And so I can really adjust my ease and uh, not worry about it being tilted up or down. You can even adjust the ease at a angle like this. And so it just adjusts the length of that handle. So convenient, so great. Man, I am so glad I know about this now. So yeah, you just hit T to bring up that little menu, select the keyframe you want to adjust and you can kind of do it that way. So what I end up doing if I want to ease something nowadays is I'll select the keyframe, hit F, hit T, and then push this out like this so that I have that nice gradual curve. Ah, so much better. Look at that, nice and easy. So, did you know about this? If you did, why didn't you tell me? That's the beauty about something like Fusion is it's so deep, we're always learning little tricks all the time. If you wanna learn some of the tricks I did know, check out my Fusion Survival Guide. There's a link down in the description below. That's a free video course with my top tips for making cool things in Fusion. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Why the Heck Didn't I Know That with Ol' Kazers. <laughs> Have a good day.